Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, it's Thursday morning. It's Marquee again. Um, checking in with you from my yoga room. Um, I wanted to come on and record a short vlog. I actually have just a few minutes because I'm getting ready to um, do a vinyasa class with one of my mentors, and I'm super excited. Um, but I did want to check in. I wanted to record this vlog yesterday originally um, because I wanted to share some of my full moon with you and honestly yesterday um, was a day of rest for me um, I really just needed to rest um, I was feeling a lot of things um, both physically and emotionally um, and I took that as a sign to uh, tune in a little bit more and um, I find that I often uh, have periods where I just need to be a little bit more insular. Um, I tend to use a lot of energy in my relationships, being an empath. And at times, um, you know, we really just need to tune into self and listen to the body and know that it's okay to rest or it's okay to um, move something from our to-do list to the following day. Um, and yesterday was just kind of a day of rest and a day of reflection for me. Um, so I wanted to come on here and share. Um, I have over the last year um, kind of tweaked and tweaked and perfected my full moon and new moon rituals. Um, so for the full moon, um, as that's the full lunar cycle, um, I like to do some releasing um, I like to, you know, releasing anything that I feel is no longer serving in that moment. Um, but also kind of taking, um, reflecting on the past 30 days, um, you know, kind of looking back at the goals that I set for myself, um, whether they be, you know, self-care goals or business goals or family goals, recreational goals, like whatever they are, I like to look back on them and kind of just reflect on how I did and what areas I feel I'm doing well in and what areas I still might need a little work in. Um, so that's actually what I did last night for the October um, full moon, full moon in Aries. A lot of fiery energy. I am a full fire sign. I was born under a full moon. Um, so it can be a lot, you know, and sometimes even with the information that we have about ourselves, our Vedic charts, um, the cosmos, astronomy, sometimes we can still feel differently than we would expect to feel maybe. Um, so I try to let go of some of those expectations and just take it as it comes, you know? Um, so last night for the full moon, um, what I typically do, I am in New England and it is getting cold. So I will admit that I did not go outside last night. I stayed in my sunroom and I opened my windows where I did have a view of the moonlight. I am a crystal and stone like nerd and um, I frequently have them in all rooms of my house in fact this isn't all of them there's still some upstairs in at my um, altar I have an ancestral altar upstairs which maybe I'll show on another vlog but in any case I have to run around my um, gathering crystals from my children's bedrooms from my bathroom like all over the place because I want to make sure that they all get to have that full moon light. Um, so I charge them and then I also leave out a glass of water um, to make myself some full moon water. Um, sometimes I'll even put, you know, one of my stones if I'm feeling that I'm needing, you know, a particularly en particular energy or something more um, of something. Uh, I'll put that stone right in the full moon water in the glass. Um, and let it sit there overnight and then in the morning I will drink the water and I will remove the stones as well um, So for last night I went ahead and I charged all my crystals right here under the moonlight under the window um, I did open the window just a little to get the air element in um, And then I bring in I always bring in a fire element So I brought in a candle and I did light a stick of incense I have this new incense that I got from the Taproot Rock Store, and it's amazing. I'm loving that. Um, so when I like that, you're kind of signifying the start of the ritual at that point. Um, 
And, you know, sometimes I'll sit and do some quiet reflection and meditation. Again, the full moon for me is more about reflecting on the past 30 day cycle, where I'm at, what I'm feeling, you know, where I'd like to be, um, things that I've done well, things that I want to keep doing, things that I want to work on a little bit more. Um, so that's the full moon. Um, so I also wanted to share, I do use a lot of journaling, as you know, um, and I love tools for journaling and journaling prompts. Um, so I purchased on Amazon, it's a self-care planner, and it has a lot of cool um, templates, let's say. Um, so I'm not gonna share my review. I will flip to another, a blank page so that you guys can take a look at it because some of those are quite personal. Um, but these are the prompts for the monthly review. And again, as I mentioned, you know, you're welcome to do it at the beginning and end of the month. I like to do the monthly review at the full moon. And then I do the monthly intention setting at the new moon. Um, so instead of being on the, uh, the, uh, you know, European calendar system. I like to use the lunar system. Um, so these are just some intention setting. And some of this for me can be kind of brainstorming. Um, what I do is I do fill out the template. I do rate, you know, the different areas here. Um, there's some areas on top, needs work, it's going all right, or don't change a thing. Um, and then I will lead that, I will let that lead me into journaling in my personal journal. Um, and just kind of on flow from there, you know, um, whatever comes up for me. And again, with the full moon, um, I do find a lot of, uh, a lot of momentum to release, you know, whether it's thought patterns that I feel are not serving, self-limiting beliefs, um, habits, behaviors, right? Um, relationships, all of those things I'm looking at um, and releasing. Um, so that's typically when, you know, I do the template and then that leads me into my journaling. Um, and then, you know, sometimes, like I said, I'll just sit in, you know, reflective, meditative stance. Um, and then I will go to sleep. I will say a prayer and I will blow out my candle and I will go to sleep. And when I wake in the morning, um, again, I'll come and warm up all my stones. They were cold from the night before. <laughs> um, and I'll drink my um, full moon water. Um, the new moon water is a little different, so I'll talk about that on another vlog. This one is just about the full moon ritual. Um, but I will drink that water, and I will, um, as I'm drinking that water, be very intentional and purposeful um, about those things that I am, uh, have committed to release and let go of from the night before. So, um, and one last little self that I didn't share. Um, I love this roller. It's a rose, um, rose essential oil. It has the copper coils in it and the rose petals crushed. My little brother gave this to me. It's very special to me for whatever reason, and it smells amazing. So I usually put that on my, um, pulse points um on my wrist and then right under my um right here in this lymph node i guess area um so that's me i hope you guys also had a wonderful full moon i know this energy uh can be strong for people and not strong for others and that's fine as well um but just hoping that you are kind to yourself um today and uh particularly on full moons um, getting in touch with the lunar cycles has been really um, just eye-opening for me and it's been a wonderful part of this process so I hope that some of this will be helpful um, let me know what you think and let me know what you like to do um, for your full moon rituals have a wonderful day everyone bye